Hello my friend, I'm so happy to see you. Today I'm going to show you how to make 3D low polo, low polygon terrains or landscapes like this. The very easy way to do it when this just gets started. So let's fire up Max Easy Terrain, the latest version, like so. And we're going to make uh, low polo stuff so we don't need the trees and grass. Let me just set up a few textures before we start. Something that uh, looks good in uh, low polo, in low polygons. Oops, and uh, brown and uh, snow like that then just let me adjust them we don't need really want any slope so we just disable that this one we want like to match with the water and a bit below the water so like 600 and do -do -do, let's have the mountains show up oh we'll just uh, make it a bit larger here and see yeah, it's probably fine there. A little bit less, and then add some snow. Well, it doesn't really look uh, anything uh, good at the moment, but uh, see what's happened when we enable the new uh, low polar mesh option you have right here. Oops. You see, it converts everything into a low polar mesh. And I think it looks awesome check it out here. Ah, we could uh, lower the... a bit. You can see you can work uh, with all the polysorial functions uh, just as you used to and uh, it will just show it how it look as a uh, low polar mesh. And sure you can just uh, use the seed to change into a totally different landscape. I like a little bit more water so I'm going to drop this down like that. Wow, it looks beautiful. And sure you can use uh, all the normal stuff you can do like uh, if you wanted a low polo play area with the center here. You can see here you can just try to disable the water also. You can see it makes this blue water in low polo and uh, yeah, this one would look better if just well, and then we can try to play with the noise f frequency. You see, then it uh, gets more detailed, and uh, yeah, you should play around with these values to find something you really like. Also. If you play around, you can just take the normal again, like this, and make it an ice line, like that. Try to lower the frequency a little. Do it, looks fine. And then you can play around with the different uh, noise types. Perling produce some uh, really uh, rounded uh, landscapes, so uh, they can. You, they can uh, look pretty nice when you lose uh, when you use a uh, low polar mesh. You can see fractal octaves can also change it into you get more yeah more detail in the in the polygons. A lower you get something more cartoonish, or you can try to. Yeah, simplex it makes uh, more variations, as you can see here, and uh, perhaps if we put a little more detail, we can get something pretty nice looking here. And then you can uh, cellular. It looks like this. It can also produce some pretty nice result. You just need to play around with it. You see, use the C to change it. And sure, you can find something that looks 
really great. And you can also control how many polygons you want in your landscape, so you can uh, reduce it. Here we have uh, 30k. See, so you just keep uh, reducing the polygon count. And uh, that, that will be the final uh, polygon count you get when you uh, export your uh, low poly mesh. So you can see you can get a nice looking landscape that, uh, yeah, I don't use uh, very many polygons, so, uh, yeah, looking great. Let's try to mix different type of uh, dices. Here we have a purling plus simplex. Prototype is purling. Simple, no, I, I think I will try this one. And then make uh, more variations. Do you do it like that? Looks great. But uh, you can also use uh, a normal high map. If you import a normal high map, let's just see where I have a high map here. Let's try this one. Like so. That's just a normal high map, and it get converted into a low polar mesh uh, terrain. So uh, that's pretty great. Also, if you want to use this as a mask, you can also do that. Just use high map as mask, and then you can use it to generate uh, different variations of this high map. Like you see here, I think I like some. Uh, try to set a high. Frequency, we get more mountains then. Or less. Like so, that's also great. And sure, you can. Um, yeah, we can try another high map. Yeah. Our normal heart. Use that. You see, we can just uh, smooth it a bit, like that. Oops. and use this as a high map. Let's see how it looks. Wow, that is great. Perhaps we should make it a bit higher. Oops. No, we should not. This is fine. We can try to adjust the noise. Yeah, that's a great landscape. Yeah, so when you made something you like and uh, just randomly are using high maps or mask or whatever, then you just uh, export it as a low polar mesh. And then you can uh, select if you want to save it using vertex colors or as default using a, a, a UV map as a UV map object that. Uh, it will work with a base color map. I'm going to make another tutorial later about this because uh, if you want to get this into Game Code Max, you need to save it as a base color map. And uh, I'm going to make a tutorial about this very soon. And uh, so, if you d have not subscribed to my channel, you should do so because uh, I often make videos. And uh, if you don't want to miss any of them, Please do subscribe now. It's just below here, the video. Just click subscribe. Thanks. So now we can just try to save out uh, using a uh, version color. Uh, where can we place it here and just call it video low polo mesh, like so. Try to view it uh, using a uh, mesh viewer. Oops, you can see here how it looks inside. Uh, I need to play around with the colors. It just look great, and also you can just uh, import it into Blender if you wish. You can just try that if you want to work more on it. Well. I'm not really used 
to use in Blender, but uh, I hope I can figure out how to import an object. Well, it's been some time since I use it, so I'm not sure why it's so slow. Oh, I know we need to delete that one, and then let's try to do 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 import import. OPJ, OPJ, where is your wavefront? And uh, oops, where did I save it? It was top right uh, there. Mm, or what? Oh, we do. Low polar mesh. Well, you know, this is uh, in the format where it uh, is the size of the Game Guru max map, so we n really need to scale it down to be able to see it here. So let's do that. And here we go. Check out how that looks. And this is, uh, even without uh, using uh, hard shaded, uh, I mean it's a special function that uh, always display Low, this uh, low polar mesh using hard normals, so each triangle has its own normal always. So no matter how you, you can see here if you said smooth shaded, you can't see it because uh, the way I generated the normals of the triangle. But so uh, that's pretty nice because you can uh, import this into any graphic program you have or game engine or whatever. So. Uh, I'm also going to show you that later in another tutorial, but uh, well, you can download it now, the program, and uh, start building your own uh, low polar terrains. And uh, I really uh, appreciate if you'd like to support this work, and uh, you can do so on Patreon. There's a link below here in the video, and uh, uh, if you click that, you can download it now. But also remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos. Thank you for this time and until next time, have a great day.